Call me. I'm a previous customer. Ready? Ready. I swear on my life, we're going to dial a customer in a minute, and I will shut them down on the first call. Let's call a customer. Oh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I have time. Oh, I need mean, this two minutes. I won't waste your time. I'm an addict addicted to being savage. My life is a little graphic, like HBO making magic. I'm rapping to make that passive money come in from traffic to win mental gymnastics. I'm an outbound call, my man who says he has time block problems, right? That he needs to make a hundred phone calls a day or sell one car. What does that mean? That means if he's working from nine to five, either hits a hundred dials or sells one car. Now, does he gotta sell someone a car off the phone? No, he could sell them a car off the lot, but he's gotta hit 100 dials. Does that make sense? Okay, so remember this. I, I said this to you guys earlier. I said everybody has 150 hours a month that they're not doing anything with. So where are we gonna put that 150 hours? Making outbound calls, which are, I call cold calls. Now we can call two people. We can call leads that have came in who didn't buy, or we could call people who bought here before, right? You guys had a lot of people buy here before, right? Okay, call me, I'm a previous customer. Ready? Ready. All right, ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Andy, it's Kevin from Suburban CBJR. How are you doing today? Good, what's going on, buddy? I just wanted to check in with you. I know we bought the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee about two months ago, seeing how that's doing. Everybody listen to me. What do you guys do for a living? No, you don't. You, got, you do build relationships. Yeah, you do sell cars, but you guys speak for a living. Self-mastery. Get your mind right, take care of all that. What comes after that? Speaking. Do you guys love where you work? Yes or no? Do you guys? Okay, is your job to get people to say yes or no? He didn't frame the language to get me to say yes. Your job is to be a master communicator. Make it easy to say yes to hard to say no to, and make it the client's idea every single time. You want me to show you? Yes. Okay. Ring, ring. Answer. Hey, this is Kevin. Hey, what's going on, Kevin? It's Andy down here at ABC Chevy, where you bought your last car from. Listen, I was reviewing your account. I need about 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? Yeah, go for it. He said yes. Awesome. Hey, do you still have the 2019 uh, Chevy or Chevrolet you bought from us back in 2020? You still got it? Oh, yeah. Just fine. Okay, beautiful. Well, the reason why I was reaching out is because my general manager, Dane, over here, he wanted me to ask you if you still had it. And if you did, he wanted me to ask you a second question. If he was willing to offer you more money, more money than what your car was worth, would you mind if I told you how much that was? Can I tell you? Yeah. Did he say no to any of this? Can I make him say yes? Yeah. Now, I'll say, all right, cool. Let me tell you how this works. Basically, my general manager, you know, we, we've wrote over $200,000 in checks for vehicles over the last 30 days, overpaying for people's cars. He's getting so crazy, we're about to put him in a straight jacket. All I need you to do is come down to the store. It's going to take about 30 seconds. I'm going to give you a crazy offer, blow your mind, and in the end, it's your decision. Does that sound fair? Oh, yeah. This is easy. This is all day long. I'm just dialing. I'm getting people in. When I do that, what is he thinking on the way in? Man, I wonder if I sell it, what am I gonna buy? Hey, I wonder what they're gonna give me. Is he thinking about buying a car? Is he thinking about doing something? Yeah, because if he said no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't come in, but I got him to say yes. This is Andy down at ABC, where you bought your last car from. I'm reviewing your account. I need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? I hooked him. Do you guys hear me? Okay. If you guys want to be great at anything, you got to hook people. You got to get them interested in what you're talking about. When you call someone and they're doing something else, don't you got to get them interested? Do you want to learn how to be a great salesperson? Yes. Okay, what if I teach it to you and you won't learn it? Okay, do you guys want to learn this? Yes. If you, listen to me. I just figure from now till the end of time, until I leave, I've told you guys self mastery is number one to change. And if you don't change, nothing changes. Let me teach you guys how to make an outbound call. Is that cool? Yeah. If you guys will memorize this right now and you'll get good at it, I promise you when I leave, you guys will all set 10 or 20 appointments every day. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, have a seat. Let's, let, let's train. I, every class has been different. This one I'm going to train. All right, write this down. You ready? I need a new piece of paper. Let, let's go to a new, a new spot, okay? So, so, yeah, yeah, let's, let's make sure you have room to write. 
Okay, so customer answers. They say hello. When you say hi, write it down. So a lot of people ask me, hey Jacqueline, how do you manage being in business, being a mom, being a wife, and also handling a team and everything in life? Well, now we have all the answers. I started a show that will be on my YouTube channel. Now, it's going to be on Jacqueline Elliott is the YouTube channel, and I'm gonna be releasing, beginning on January 15th, a podcast every week. So if you're curious about who is behind Andy Elliott and the Elliott Group, check it out. See you there. <laughs> This is, and write your name. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan? Yeah. Okay. Hi, this is Ryan with, okay, everybody ready? We're going to memorize it. Did you write it down? Okay, cool. The next thing you say is I was reviewing your account. I was reviewing your account. What is your account? I got your name and phone number. We're good. It doesn't matter. There's no account. But that gets them interested. Like, what account? Okay, I need 30 seconds of your time. So write this down. I was reviewing your account. I need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Okay, everybody got that rope? Okay, everybody, this is called a quick pop. So it's like this, I say something, I say something, I say something, and then I don't give them a chance to think and I just pop them with something real quick. Does that make sense? And I say, can I hear 30 seconds? Write that down. This is where you, 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 you wrap up this sentence with, can I get 30 seconds? And it's like a question, and it's like a question mark, like explanation point, okay? So this, hey, what, hi, this is Ryan down here at CDJR Ann Arbor. I was reviewing your account, need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Is tonality important? Yes. Yes, you've got to have tonality. So if it was a real live phone call right here, and I could call any customer and close them in front of you. I swear on my life, we're going to dial a customer in a minute, and I will shut them down on the first call. I don't care who they are. What's going on? It's Andy down here at ABC Motors, where you bought your last car from. Listen, I was reviewing your account. I need about 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? They always say, uh, yeah, that's all you need. There's the first yes. Does that make sense? Okay, and I want you to write this down. Awesome, I got two quick questions. Just say awesome, I got two quick questions. And then you say, question number one. You're gonna label the question. Do you still have the X, Y, and Z car? that you purchased from us. Very simple. Do you still have it? 99% of the time they're gonna say yes. If they say no, say, oh no. Well, what, what, what do you got now? And then they're like, well, I got a 2018 Dodge Ram. Oh, tell me about it. Okay, cool, Why? Oh, how long have you had it? Okay, awesome, so that's the vehicle you have now. Awesome. So my second question, and you just move right in, because you're gonna ask a question on that car instead of that car. Does that make sense? So question number one, do you still have the X, Y, and Z car? And they're most likely gonna say yes. If not, just deviate and say, what do you got? Okay, once they say yes, question number two, my general manager wanted me to personally reach out and ask you if you still had that vehicle. And if you did, he wanted me to ask you, and by the way, I could say question number two, I could say he wanted me to ask you the second question. Does that make sense? It's like, I wouldn't ask, this, I, that's why you're asking the second question. So I, it's kind of formatted like this. What's going on? This is Andy down here at ABC Motors. We bought your last car from. I was reviewing your account. Need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? Sure. Okay, awesome. Question number one. It's got two quick questions. Question number one. Do you still have the X, Y, and Z car you bought from us previously? Yes, I do. Beautiful. Well, since you have the vehicle, the second question my general manager personally wanted me to ask you, you got to say general manager personally wanted me to ask you. That's the most important thing, okay? Is that if he was willing to offer you since you have it, if he was willing to offer you, my general manager, if he was willing to offer you, remember the if is so important, if he was willing to offer you, now I, I want you to write this very carefully, word for word, what I'm about to say next. If he was willing to offer you more money, and listen, I want you to do me a favor, put a dot, 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 which means there's a pause, and then I want you to say, more money, you say it twice, it, it instills it in their brain. He wants to know if we're willing to offer you more money, more money than what your car was worth. Would you mind if we told you how much that was? My general manager wanted to personally reach out and ask you if he was willing to offer you more money, dot, 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 pause, more money. It's like we're popping him in the mouth with it. Than what your car was worth, would you mind if I told you how much that was? 
Would you mind if I told you how much that was? Okay, and then, and then put dot, 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 and say, can I tell you? And they're always like, yeah, you can tell me. See, you're, just, you're, you're, you're bringing them along. This is, this is called make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and make it the client's idea. By the way, remember this. I sold 70 to 80 cars a month when I sold cars. So if anybody wants to know how to sell more cars, I'm telling you. If anybody's like, oh, I don't, I don't want to listen. It's like, I don't know what to do. Keep selling eight cars. But I'm telling you how to sell 50 cars a month. I'm telling you right now. And you can all do it. I, I am a trained assassin. I got trained by somebody. I memorized everything my mentor told me. I knew my stuff, my mentor stuff, better than he knew it. That's how serious I was about making money and changing my life. And you're gonna have to be the same way. So here's the play we're gonna run. If you guys get a customer on the lot, okay, on the lot or the phone, I know naturally you're going to try to sell it. I know that, right? The money you're making now is, is this. Am I right, everybody? Now, there's a new category of money, and this is called cold call, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you what to say when they're on the phone to get them in, and I'm gonna show you what to say also to get them in, and also what to say when they get here to get them to buy something, is that cool? And we're gonna finish this day with you guys knowing what to do to pick up this money. Now, everybody's like time management. Do you see people on the phone dial on the phones all day long? No. We are now. You can call anybody you want and say this. You can call anyone. And you can just ask them, hey, it's Andy down here at ABC Motors. You inquired about a vehicle in the past. Hey, my general manager wanted me to reach out for 30 seconds and ask what vehicle you're currently driving. I'm driving this car. Okay, awesome. Well, let me ask you a question. My general manager was willing to offer you more money, more money than what that car was worth. Would you mind, would you mind if he told you how much that was? Could we tell you? Yeah. Dude, you call anybody. You don't have to be previous customers. It could be someone who inquired on a lead. It's the same language. I could walk out to the service drive. You guys got service customers? It's Andy Elliott. What's your name? Mike. Mike, nice to meet you. You got your car in service? Yes, sir. Nice, man. Well, awesome. Well, I appreciate you doing, you know, doing business with us here. Hey, what can I get you to drink? Something hard or cold while you're waiting on your vehicle? I got something. Thank you. Let me get you something, man. If you come to my house, I got to feed you. I'm going to get you something. Something hot, something, something cold. I'll get you an empty cup. I got to get you something, Mike. What do you want? I'll take one. <laughs> See? I'm going to get his to take something. You know why? Because he's about to sit down with me. Do you guys understand that? Everybody get that? Reciprocity. If I give something to Mike, Mike's got to give something back to me. I'm going to make Mike take something. I will go get an empty styrofoam cup and go, here, I wasn't playing. I'm going to get you something, okay? Now, everybody pay attention. If I walk out to service and I go meet Mike, then I'm going to say, hey, Mike, what do you have? He's like, I got a 2018 Toyota Corolla, 30,000 miles. Awesome. Did you buy it from us? Did you buy it somewhere else? How long have you had it? Well, listen, my general manager right now, they're trying to buy as many economy vehicles as they can. Let me ask you a question while you got in the service drive. Hypothetically, if he was willing to offer you more money, more money than what your car was worth while you're sitting in service today, would you mind if we told you how much that was? Could we tell you? Yeah, no problem. It's like... Okay, hey, hypothetically, Mike, let's say he offered you more money than what it was worth. What would you replace it with? Something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage? What would it be? I would want something the same. Okay, like newer? Yes. Lower miles? Yeah. Okay, kind of like the same Toyota, same style of body, or does it got to be a Toyota again? It would be the same car. Mike, do you got a magic rabbit foot in your pocket, buddy? Because it's your lucky day. I got something, Mike. Come here. Come out of service with me. Now Mike's walking out on the lot with me. Does that make sense? Does anybody know what persuade means? What does it mean? You're trying to get them to say yes to something that you want to do. To persuade is to influence someone. It's what leaders do. You know why you all have to be leaders in here? Because I know who the leader is and I know who the leader isn't. When you become the leader, I want to follow the leader. Do you think customers want to follow the leader? Damn right they do. They pull up on the lot and they know who isn't the leader. They know who's the leader. You know how I knew that? Was that the guy who runs the store? Yeah. yeah. Was sitting in the corner? Yeah. How did I know he was the guy that ran the store? Because he was talking. His presence. No, because you can see it in his eyes. I could see it in his eyes when I walked in. I don't know who anybody is. I walked in. I go, hey, do you run, you, you, you run the store, don't you? And he goes, yeah. And I said, okay, makes sense because your eyes tell me you run the store. I know who runs the show. 
I wish when people would pull up here or when you would make a call, you guys sound like you ran the show. By the way, that's not arrogant. It's not being an asshole. It's not cocky. It's confidence, baby. Dude, people love confident people. People want to do business with confident people and not arrogant people. Some people carry this freaking look on their face like I don't give a fuck. And I don't like that. Like it's all about me. It's not about you. I want people to love me. I want people to make me feel important. I want people to onboard me to their brand with love. I want that. So do your people. You gotta be confident, okay? Now, let's role play this cold call. Everybody got it wrote down? Okay, all right, ready? Go. I'm gonna let you do it, because I'm in your role play. Ready? Hello? Hi, this is Kevin from KDJR Manor. I would review your accounts. No Oz. Okay? Right. Ring, ring. Hi, this is Kevin from with Suburban CDJR of Ann Arbor. I was reviewing your accounts. You have 30 seconds. I need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. I want you to pause between each one. Hey, what's going on? It's, it's, it's Kevin down here of Ann Arbor. Look, I was reviewing your account. I need about 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? That's what I want you to sound like. Does that make sense? Read it. He's not in front of me. He's on the phone. It's okay. Read the paper. All right, go. Hi, this is Kevin with, with CDJR of Ann Arbor. I was reviewing your account. I need 30 seconds of your time. Can I get 30 seconds? Okay. All right, you go. Hi, this is Cody with Mercedes Benz Van Arbor. It's reviewing, excuse me. I was reviewing your account in 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important that I have 30 seconds. Dude, you're ready to call someone, aren't you? I did this on Tuesday in person, though. It's exactly what I said. This? Listen, the question is now will you guys make the calls? Will you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to call someone. What happens whenever they, and by the way, can, can I get 30 seconds of your time? Yes. Now go to the next far, part. Go. Uh, sure. You, I, yeah, you can get 30 seconds. What's up? Awesome. I have two quick questions. Question number one, do you still have the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE? Uh, sure do, buddy. Fantastic. Question number two, my general manager wanted me to personally reach out to see if you had this vehicle. And if you did, sorry, I wrote it down. Go ahead. You're good. If he was willing to offer. And, and if you did. I wrote it down where it's okay, but that's why I have to write it down right. Okay, listen to me. My general manager, when he personally reach out and ask you one question, and since you do have it, I'm giving you an example, he wanted me to ask you if you still have it. If you do have it, he wanted me to ask you one question. If he was willing to offer you more money, more money than what your car was worth, would you mind if we told you how much that was? Could I tell you? Okay, now do it again. And if you did, if he was willing to offer more money, more money than what your vehicle was worth, would you mind if I told you what that Okay, you need some tonality, buddy, and you need a voice, okay? All right, so this time, say it like you want to sell something. Say it like that this is your place, that you own this shit. Hey, listen to me. Say it like you want to be a millionaire. Okay, do you want to be one? No, you don't. Yeah. Prove it. Come on, prove it. Start from the very beginning. Nail this shit. Let's go. Guys, this right here is how you get good, am I right? Listen, it's just a piece of paper. We're just reading it. There's no, I'm not making you make anything up. I'm not making you guess. Nobody has to come up with anything. It's just right there. Okay? It's okay. I'm cool with this. You'll, you'll memorize it soon. Okay? All right, go. This time talk to me like you want to be a millionaire. Hey, this is Cody. But... Yeah, so, so it goes like this. No, you're not. You're not nervous. Number one, don't ever tell yourself you're nervous because you're not. Okay, do you guys hear me? Listen to me. Some of you, you say I'm shy. You're not shy. Someone else told you you're shy when you're young. That's why you act shy. You're not shy. Matter of fact, you don't want to be shy. Do you, do you want to stand out and be a leader and help a lot of people? You're not nervous. You've been waiting on this. If anything, replace nervous with excited. You're excited to do this. You're excited to earn more money. Yeah, sure, it may feel weird. That means I'm excited to do it. Like, dude, I want to get this shit down so I can go make some more money. Because I know the money I'm currently making, yeah, I can close more deals. When you self-master yourself, you're going to sell more. But, dude, we got to get on the phones. Am I right, guys? The reason why we're not making money is so we get on the phone. If nobody gets on the phones when I leave, it shows that you're lazy. It shows that you don't care. Remember this. If you guys were in real estate, and let's say the number one real estate guy in the world who sold the most houses would teach you how they sold that much real estate, would you do what they said? Yes, you guys better do what I say. I'm not, I'm not the king, okay? 
I'm not, I'm not saying I'm the top one. I was the top 1% in the auto industry. I'm saying I was the best. I'm saying that how I got the results I got was because systematically I knew what I was going to say. So most people pick up the phone and they don't know what the outcome is going to be, but I know what the outcome is going to be. I can make you say what I want you to say, and I can make anybody do it. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to get somebody sometimes that's like, oh, yeah, I don't want to know. I love my car. Thank you. I'm in a hurry. I'm with my kids in the car. Have a blessed day. Boom, go to the next. It's totally cool. Okay, but most of them, they'll come in on this, okay? Remember, your job is to inspire, motivate, and persuade people to, to, to get interested in doing something with the vehicle. Okay, all right, you got it this time. Let's go. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So it goes ring, ring, and you're going to answer the phone. Hey, this is Cody with Mercedes-Benz of Ann Arbor. Yep. I was reviewing your account. I need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. You get 30 seconds. Bam, next. Awesome. I have two quick questions. Question number one, do you still have a 2020 Mercedes-Benz? Yes. Awesome. Question number two, my general manager wanted me to personally reach out to see if you still had that vehicle. And if you did, if he was willing to offer more money, more money than what your vehicle is worth, would you mind if we told you how much that was? Can I tell you? That's it. That's perfect. Okay. Can everybody do that right there? So once they say all these yeses, here's what I want you to do. Everybody write this down. You ready? Say awesome. Let me tell you how this works. Because they're going to be like, sure. And you're going to say, awesome. Let me tell you how this works. Awesome. Let me tell you how this works. Put my general manager has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just like this. My general manager has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars this last week overpaying, underlined overpaying, because you got to really emphasize that word. My general manager has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars this last week overpaying for people's trade-ins. And I need you to do me a favor, put this next line, okay, and put, he's getting so crazy, we're about to put him in a straight jacket. Ha, ha, ha. Trust me, it works. I do it every time. Never not works. My general manager has paid hundreds of thousands of dollars over the last week overpaying for customers' vehicles. He's getting so crazy, we're literally about to put him in a straight jacket. And you're like, he's getting so crazy. Everybody, can you, can you make it sound like you're laughing? Like, he's getting so crazy, we're literally about to put him in a straight jacket. It's nuts. Can you do that? Can you guys fake it a little bit? Okay, look, let me tell you how this works. Really simple. All right, what are we going to say next? Go ahead. I said, let me tell you how this works, and what did I say? Awesome. Let me tell you how this works. My general manager spent hundreds of thousands of dollars this last week overpaying for the, this last week for people's trade-ins. He's getting so crazy, we might have to put him in a straight jacket. Yeah, now make it sound like you're laughing. He's getting so crazy, we might have to put him in a straight jacket. That's what I want, okay? And say, so. So. With that being said, what time can you make it in? Would right now be okay? Or would after work be best? All I need is about two minutes of your time. That's it. Awesome. So what would be worth, or what would be best? Could you come in right now, or would after work be best? All I need is about two minutes of your time. I'm about to arm you guys with what happens if they say no. So all I need is for you to come down for about two minutes. My general manager literally is overpaying for everybody's trade-ins. He spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay, all I need is two minutes of your time. When can you make it in? Okay, are you ready? What if they say, well, can't you just tell me on the phone? They'll try that sometimes. Oh, I, I, I don't want to come in. Or they'll be like, oh, you know what? I, I just don't have time for that right now. Okay, can you guys do me a favor? Write this down. If they say no, I want you to say this, and you will turn them around. Are you ready? Write this down. Just put, if they say no. That way you remember that this is only to be said if they say no. At any point in time, if somebody says no, I want you to say this. And I want to see if we can turn them around, okay? Just say, they're like, oh, no, 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 I, can't you get me on the phone? Um, actually, no, well, number one, no, I can't. My general manager, by the way, hold on, this isn't the no. I'm going to tell you what happens if they say no. But if somebody says, well, can't you just tell me on the phone? Just say, no, I, I can't because my general manager has to go out and take a look at the vehicle for about two minutes, and then he's going to make you a crazy offer. Have you ever won the lottery? Have you? 
you, you just have, okay? So all I need you to do is come in, and I'm going to take care of that, all right? I mean, the fact that I'm calling you right now, you must have a magic rabbit foot in your pocket, okay? It's your lucky day. When can you make it down? Right now or after work? Spin out of it. You guys feel me? Okay, let me tell you this. There's a close called press through close. If I'm trying to get through to someone on the phone, I'm trying to get them to come in, and they're like, can't you just tell me on the phone or whatever? I want you to do me a favor. I want you to say this. When you come in, we're going to blow your mind. Listen, ask them, have you ever won the lottery? Ask them that. Listen, ma'am, all you got to do is come in. It's only going to take two minutes. Look, have you ever won the lottery? They'll be like, huh? You're like, you just have, ma'am. All I need you to do is come down. Look, you got a magic rabbit foot in your pocket? They're like, what? You're like, dude, because it's your lucky day. This is going to be crazy. All I need is two minutes. Look, when I'm done, I'm going to send the address to where we're located, which I know you know where we're at, but I'm going to send a picture of me, and, so, and, and you'll have my name. And then that way, when you get here, I'll meet you out front, and then we'll get this wrapped up for you. Is that okay? Push through. Do you hear me? Do not stutter. Do not sound uncertain. Make sure that you sound confident, okay? You guys see how this works? Okay. Guys, this is how you make a half a million a year. Now, what if they say no? This is what I want you to write down. This is what we're writing down. Okay. If they say no, say, I totally understand. And then you say, let me ask you a question because that's what closers do. Okay. You say, hey, I totally understand. Let me ask you a question. Hypothetically, if your house was worth $100,000 and someone was going to give you 500000 I mean, you give them two minutes of your time, right? And they'll always say, well, yeah, I'd, I mean, I'd give them two minutes of my time. <laughs> Great. That's all I need is two minutes. When can you come down? I'm going to give you a crazy offer and blow you away. And in the end, it's your decision. Everything is, is always in the end, it's your decision. I can get a phone right now. Hey, let's call a customer. Somebody, let's get a previous customer. Can somebody get into a CRM? What, are you ready? Hold on. Hold on. But I'm going to ask you a question. Do you have that down? Okay, hold on. Who, who can do this in this room? Who can do this? Who wants to be a hero in this room right now? Come on. You want, can you do this? Come here. All right. All I need is somebody who bought a vehicle back in 2021. Now, he doesn't work at this store. She's pulling up the CRM. Oh, who works in this store? Yeah, that's a better question. Well, then you're going to do it, little lady. Yeah, Tommy. Hey, hey, first of all, I you knew know this how was to... going. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tommy, you know how to do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tommy, you're going to set the first appointment that we call. Okay. Okay. I'm willing to bet a thousand cash Tommy will set the first appointment. Now, Tommy, listen to me. Here's our deal. Number one, this is what we do, okay? But number two, everybody in this world is going to say yes as long as you follow this. So I'm going to role play with you before we get this. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hey, this is Tommy down at Super Yeah, don't have to look at me. Look here because I want you oh, to you focus. Want me to read it? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. But I just want, I'm not going to look at you because this is a phone, okay? okay. Are you ready? Yep. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Tommy Zagato with Suburban Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Ann Arbor. How are you today? I'm doing good. What's going on? Good. I was just reviewing your account. I need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? Yeah, sure. What's going on? Awesome. Well, I've got two quick questions for you. Okay. One, do you still have the XYZ car that you purchased from us? Uh, sure do. Awesome. Awesome. Well, number two, my general manager wanted me to personally reach out and ask if you still have that vehicle. If he was willing to offer you more money, more money than what your yeah, say more money, and then say more money. Okay. Like, like, like look, bait the money. Okay. My general, well, well, good, because my general manager wanted me to ask if he was willing to offer you more money, more money than what your car was worth. Would you mind if I told you how much that was? Can I tell you? Okay. Press on that money. Okay. Okay. Make him feel it. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Okay, that's cool. Tell me. Yeah, like, okay, cool, tell me. Awesome. Well, let me tell you how this works. My GM has spent thousands, hundreds of thousands in the last week over, overpaying for people's trades. He's getting so crazy that we're about to put him in a straitjacket. Okay, what time can you make it in? Right now, we're going to have to work be best. All I need is two minutes of your time. Yeah. Do you feel me? Yeah. Do you got that? Yeah. You're ready. Yeah. What if I say, what if I say, oh, no, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, maybe next week. My GM has to check out the vehicle for two minutes. No, 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 but maybe next week. Maybe next week. You know, or hey, oh no, actually I'm not interested. What are you gonna say now? I totally understand. Let me ask you a question. Hypothetically, if your house is worth hundred K and someone was gonna give you five hundred Say hundred grand. hundred grand. Would you and someone was gonna pay you five hundred grand, would you give them two minutes of your time? Sure. When can you come in today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When can you come in today? All I need you to come in is for two minutes. Can you come in right now or after work be best? You're gonna push through. Do you feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, 
Did we just fill this hole? Did I show you guys how to do it? Who thinks that she can set an appointment on the first time they come in? Want me to tell you how to sell them when they get here? Yeah. Okay, because that's important, right? Because now when they come in, you're going to be like, oh, shit, what do we do? Okay, let me tell you what you do. You ready? Customer comes in. Hey, what's going on, Dane? Andy Elliott. Remember we spoke on the phone? Come on in. Let's take care of this. So let's go ahead and have a seat. So number one, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to get some information off your vehicle, right? Now tell me. Now, obviously, uh, when did you guys buy it? You know, um, how many other vehicles do you have? Is this your car? Is this your wife's? Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and get your keys. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some information from my manager. Is that okay? Have them have a seat. Have them have a seat. You're going to go out to the car. You're going to get some information off of it. You're going to do all that stuff. Then you're going to go to the tower, and you're going to take the keys and the trade card to the tower, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You know what you're going to do? You're going to come back. You're going to have a seat with them. You know what you're going to say? All right, listen, Dane, my general manager. Everybody listen. Dane, my general manager, is about to go check out your vehicle right now. I want to ask you one question. What do closers always say? Let me ask you one question. Because that's how they set you up. That's how you know you're about to get close. Let me ask you one question. Hypothetically, let's say Dane, my general manager, offered you more money than what your car was worth, right? And you were like, you know what? Get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. Let's just say you said that, right? What would you replace it with? Would it be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty? What would it be? And shut up. And whatever they say, you'd be like, dude, must be your lucky day. I got something for you. Go to the lot. Forget the car. Doesn't matter. We're going to give them the money. Now we need to know what they would trade in. Now they're committing to what they would upgrade. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's write that down. Or do we have the list? We've got a number and a name right here. Emily just brought up. Okay. Well, she went down there and she came back with one. Hopefully they answer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I go back down again. I'm like, we got one person. All right. All right. Well, number one. I'm willing to bet $1,000 she's going to set this appointment. That's how much I know this works. Okay? You ready? Let's roll. By the way, this is nothing. This is easy. Hey, make everybody proud. Tommy. Hi, is this Joshua? Hey Josh, this is Tommy Zagato with Suburban Chrysler Dodge Cheap Ram of Ann Arbor. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good. I was just reviewing your account. I just need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? Sure. Perfect. I've got two quick questions for you. One, do you still have the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee that you purchased from us? We do. Awesome, awesome. My general manager wanted me to personally reach out and ask if you still have that vehicle. If he was willing to offer you more money more money than what your car is worth. Would you mind if I told you how much that was? Can I tell you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, awesome. Let me tell you how this works. My GM has spent hundreds of thousands in the last week overpaying for people's trade-ins. He's getting so crazy, we're about to put him in a straight jacket. So what time can you come in? I just need two minutes, we'll check it out, and we'll make you a offer. Oh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I have time. Um, Like, uh, Say if your house is worth a hundred grand. I don't know who that was. Hey, just say uh, times have changed. I don't know who that was, but listen, it, 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 this is where you're going to win the lottery. All I need is two minutes. Okay, I totally understand. Uh, I don't know who that was that talked to you last year, but times have changed. Uh, let me ask you a quick question. Hypothetically, if your house is worth 100K and someone was going to give you 500K, would you give them two minutes of your time? Oh, I need you to come. <laughs> yeah, I need you to come in. Say, Awesome. Well, I just need you to come in so we can get that appraisal done. Say, say, two, say two minutes. All I need is two minutes. Say all I need is two minutes. Tell, say, hey, say all I need is two minutes. I won't waste your time. Tell. Okay. Well, all I need is two minutes. I'm not going to waste your time. So I'm going to blow you away. Okay. All I need is two minutes of your time. I'm going to blow your mind. I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. This is my name. What time? This is my name. Okay, and you can't, you can't do that over the phone. Not on the phone. Not on the phone. I can't do it over the phone. We need a general.
general manager to check it out. So what time can you be here? I'm gonna blow you away. I'll be here till eight o'clock tonight. I'm gonna have my daughter for my blood first till eight. Okay. Just tomorrow, okay. But I guess I mean I can maybe swing. You can bring your daughter in. We have a playroom for her. I can set her up with some snacks. I'm a mom myself, so whatever you need, I can make it happen for you. Okay. Um look, Dad, is this the number I call you at? Yep, this is my cell phone. I'm also here tomorrow from nine to six. So what day works best for you and time? Probably tomorrow to be honest with you. Tomorrow what time? Let's Tomorrow what time? Um Told you, every time, every time. I can do 10 for 10. Okay, does 315 work? Yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna text you the address. I know you know where we're at, but this is my cell phone number. And my name. And I'll text you my exact name, address, everything, and I'll see you at 315 tomorrow. All right, thank you. All right, have a good day. All right, what I just tell you? Yeah, let's go! Hey. I told you, am I a liar? Am I a liar? No. I told you, didn't I? Listen, it's taking, taking candy from a baby. It feels exciting to win. What did I say? Well, no, but I said run the play. Am I right? Run the play. So here's what we got. We got everybody counting all their money here on the lot, but nobody's dialing on the phone. And all these people, listen, he's like, well, I checked back last year. Dude, you checked last year. Dude, cars are 20 grand over sticker. No wonder he didn't buy something last year. Dude, if this guy bought a car in 2021, listen to me. In 2021, he probably got a good deal. They probably had rebates on it. Right now, that car is probably worth good money. He's not upside down on it. Your manager would love to take it in for a trade-in. He's probably dying to get a 2021 Cherokee. The guy obviously now is going to need to, what, step two, which is where we're going to ask him when he comes in. All right, my general manager is going to check it out. Right, he's obviously going to blow you away, but I have a question, okay? Let's say that we made you a crazy offer, and you're like, and, I, and by the way, can you guys play with me? I say, it goes like this. So let's act like I'm with her, okay? And I'm like, okay, cool. So, so, all right, so here's the point right now. Obviously, if my general manager comes in here in a minute, he's going to make you a crazy offer, and you're going to be like, you know what? Get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. I'm sure that's going to happen. When you do, what are you going to replace it with? Is it going to be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage? What would it be? That next thing they say is the car we're going to sell them. Dude, I swear, if you guys will listen to me, I'll make you more money than you know what to do with. The, the market is dying to pay all of you, but you must be skilled and you must, be, you must believe. And guys, you gotta understand what training is about. Training is exciting. Dude, when you train with people, and, and I just want to tell you guys something, like, that have never succeeded or done anything, like, I get it. I wouldn't believe it either. If a guy was telling me how to sell stocks and he ain't never sold stocks before, like, I wouldn't want, or, or he was a stock salesman. But if I was talking to a person that made hundreds of millions of dollars on, the wall, on Wall Street with stocks, I'm like, dude, teach me everything you know. And when they tell me the play, I'm just going to run it. And by the way, my goal is, is that when I speak to you guys and I tell you, you got to run the play. You did a really good job on that call. Did you hear how the words matter? Right? And did you notice? He's like, well, can't you tell me on the phone? And I was like getting in her face. I'm like, don't fucking tell him no. Get his ass here. Go, go, go. Right? Like, like you guys need to have me in your ear thinking like, would Andy trip shit right now? Like if this guy was telling me no, you, and by the way, I need you to know that when I sold, I didn't have an Andy around me saying, push through, push through, make the sale, get it done. I was like, dude, I don't eat if I don't get this deal. Come on, man, are you kidding me? I'm gonna blow you away, man. And that, do you notice how she said, if your house is worth 100 grand, I give you 500 grand, you wouldn't give me two minutes of your time? I'm framing people where they can't say no. They can't say no, they can't. They have to say yes. Now, I must teach you the second part. Is that cool? All right, so somebody comes in. Write down when they come in. When they come in and they're in the store. Okay, first thing you do is you shake their hand and take them to a table. Okay, when you take them to a table, grab, a, grab an ACV card and grab the keys of their trade. By the way, everybody listen to me. When you know you got an appointment and he's coming in tomorrow at 315, your goal is, is that let your manager know, you know? Like, hey, I got a guy coming in at 315, right? 
you know, I, I hit him with, if I could offer you more money, it looks like he's got a good trade in. You know, we really need to try to trade for this when he gets here and try to figure out what to sell him, you know? Like, I want you, I want you to know where this lead came from because I want you to help me sell it. He's going to be like, hell yeah. Dude, we don't have to wait for ups. We'll take all the ups, but plus we'll take these. Dude, he wants that trade. If you take that trade in, you'll sell him a car and you'll sell that trade in 20 minutes. So that's the goal. We're going to create just this, this, this momentum uh, um, effect. It's going to be nuts. Now, so when you go get the ACV card and you go fill out all the information on the trade-in, I'm going to tell you what I, would, what I would recommend, okay, is get in the car and move it around to the side of the building. Do you hear me? What does that mean? Get it away from where it was. Just my recommendation. I'm not asking you to appraise it. I'm asking you to move it 30 feet on the side of the building. We're not hiding it. We're just moving it like, oh, I just moved it over here where my manager appraised this trade in. Does that make sense? It's, yeah, out of sight. It's like, dude, they're sitting here, and he's like, oh, I see my trade in. He's staring at it the whole time. Get it around to the side. Move it. Okay? And, and, and then you go to your manager and say, hey, this is my 315 appointment. Remember I was telling you about that guy? Here's the keys. Here's the card. If you wouldn't mind checking it out, I'm going to go have a talk with him now, and I'm going to see what he would replace it with. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah? We good? Okay. You feel me? You good? You good? We have him have a seat. We pulled around on the side. Now, what do we do? When we walk back up to them, everybody listen to me real quick. When we walk back up to them, we're going to sit down, and I want you to say, I got a quick question to ask you, okay? Everybody write this down. I got a quick question to ask you. No, no, forget that. Scratch that. Sit back down and say, all right, hypothetically, start out with this. And I'm not saying you can't have small talk for a second, but this is how you go into the pitch. Does that make sense? The pitch is hypothetically. Write it down. You got it? Hypothetically. See, if you don't write down what I'm telling you, then they're going to get here and you're going to feel like an idiot because you're not going to say it right. Closers is, say, hypothetically, even if you don't know how to spell it, you know, you know what you're writing, okay? You know what it says hypothetically in your language, okay? So hypothetically, let's say my general manager comes back. Write this down. Hypothetically, let's say my general manager comes back and makes you a crazy offer. Hypothetically, let's say my general manager comes back makes you a crazy offer and you're like, you're going to tell them you're like, and I want you to put your like and then put dot, 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 and you're like, get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. Or I say like, you, and you tell me, Andy, get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. You got to role play this. And you're like, or you say, get your checkbook out because he's telling us like, damn, that's a lot of money. So get your checkbook out. Because I'm selling it. Like, he's decided to sell it. Like, damn, I'm selling it. What would you drive home with? What would you replace it with? What would you drive home in? What would you replace it with? That's the question you ask. So hypothetically, let's say my general manager made you a crazy offer, and you're like, and I say, and I point to him, I go, and you're like, get your checkbook out, because I'm selling it. What would you drive home in? You got that? What would you drive home in? Has everybody got that? Everybody got it? Okay. What would you drive home in? And now you multiple choice their ass. You say, what would you drive home in? Something newer? And you got to take your hands. You got to say something newer, something bigger, something smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage. What would it be? Then shut your mouth. Whatever, something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty. What would it be? And you just look at them like, what would it be? And they pick one. Because if you don't multiple choice them, I'm going to tell you what will, what will happen. You'd be like, well, let's say my manager gives you all the money. What would you want to buy? And they're like, damn, I don't know. And you're like, well, what do you think it would be? And now we're all screwed up. We need them to make decisions. we got to ask them questions, multiple choice them. You know, let's say my general manager made you a crazy offer. And you're like, you know what? Get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. And you need to practice this. You guys need to role play this together, OK? You got this. You know how to do this. Role play this. You got this down. You teach everybody else. This is easy. Okay? What would you drive home with? Something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty? What would it be? Just be quiet. And they'll say, 
probably something bigger. Bam! When you say bigger, do you mean like a bigger truck, like a bigger SUV, like higher off the ground? Like, what do you think when you mean bigger? Yeah, like maybe higher off the ground. Cool, like a small SUV, a little higher off the ground than what you got now? Okay, cool. You know what? Got something for you. Ho, 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 ho. While my manager's checking out your car, I might have something for you. And that's when I say something funny, like, you got a magic rabbit foot in your pocket? Do you? Because it's your lucky day. Have you ever won the lottery? You just have. That's how you make them laugh. You guys got to bring humor into your game. Remember this, guys. People will do whatever you want. Do you see that guy coming in? From now till tomorrow, that guy that's coming in, he's going to think, what if they give me enough? What am I going to buy? You think he's going to look at the website tonight? You think he's going to look at the website? Yeah. We just made that guy in the market now. Think about it. Guys, this is easy, isn't it? You guys see how easy it is? Okay, so number one, self-mastery. All of you guys in here, take care of your fitness. Take care of yourself. Work out in the morning. Eat clean food. Make good decisions. Plug into positive people. Don't be around anybody negative. Wake up. If you're shy, stop being shy. If you're an introvert, stop being an introvert. If you don't look like a professional, start dressing like a professional. Change your physique. Change your body. Change your heart. Speak with your heart when you're talking to people. Okay? Don't be an order taker. Listen, nobody in here is going to get rich without using their heart. You're going to have to care. Okay, a lot of people don't care. They're in the car business to make money, but, but money doesn't recognize them because they don't care. It won't have nothing to do with them. you got to care. You see my passion? The way that I've talked to you guys? This is how I live. This isn't a show. This is the way I roll. Okay? If you guys can take 10% of what I'm telling you, you'll make a quarter of a million minimum. A half a million, 750. And people say, well, we're in a small store. Shut up. Don't listen to that person. I sold 70 cars a month, okay, on average, in a store that was selling 70 cars a month when I showed up. Don't even listen to that shit. Don't listen to how many people are in your area. Don't listen to nothing. Don't listen to how many cars are on the lot. You can sell every one of them if you want. Nobody can decide what's up for you except for you. That's the game. And I want you guys to take this, and when we leave here, I want you guys to change. I want you to know if you don't change, nothing changes. Okay? Now, each one of you had the same decision that I did. Okay? When somebody told me the truth and I walked into a room and I was in a meeting like this and I learned this new information, dude, I was never the same again. I was like, dude, y'all just messed up. Y'all gave me the secret? Like, I'm not taking this shit lightly. Okay? I've been waiting for this my whole life. Well, here you go. Okay? Now you got to do the work. Also, to prove, I like people that prove shit. Because a lot of people run their mouth, but they don't know what they're talking about. I said, we're gonna make one call, we're gonna set one appointment, and I'm gonna coach her through the call. Am I right? Yeah. I wrote down word for word what to say. She said it, it worked. Am I a fraud? Or am I telling you the truth? So if I told you the truth there, you know that everything else that I told you was the truth. Yeah. Okay? And, and also, understand this, anybody that's willing to back it up and prove to you that they're right, those are people I would stick around and listen to. Because a lot of people run their mouth, and then they won't make the call. Dude, we'll, we'll run that play every time, and it'll work every time. And by the way, listen, let me explain something. If somebody does say, oh, yeah, well, I'm just not interested, thank you. you say, have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Keep them a valued customer and move on to the next. You guys got me? Okay. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.